All right, first step, trying to prep the play field for overlay is to get all the original mylar off. Um, I normally use some dust off, electric duster. Um, the can says don't shake. I seem to shake it a little bit. Hold it upside down, it turns into freeze spray. And you can start freeze spraying the areas. I do recommend wearing gloves because this stuff, when it gets on your skin, it really stinks for some reason. So, free spray it up. I find a little edge I can pop the razor blade under and start getting it to come up. And I can get it to come up, which I did. There it comes. You can start just slowly peeling it up. If you're trying to save your inserts and stuff, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Um, I found that if you spray the actual outside of the mylar, it works best. Since I'm not trying to save inserts, I just want the mylar off. So I'm not really going super slow with it. up in these areas that's why it ripped just didn't even want to stay because the mylar is so old uh, it's starting to come off in actual like little pieces now so you just gotta keep working it I'm gonna get all the mylar off of this thing you don't have to bother cleaning the play field or anything before you do this since you're pretty much sanding it down to bare wood anyway one can. If not, I'll have to go grab another one. Well, I've got a little bit left here. And let's see here. Nope, there's more. That can is gone. And might be able to do it. Alright, we got it. There's just a couple of little pieces left. You can just pick them off, especially since we're, like I said, we're doing the play field again. So it doesn't really matter if it takes some of the graphics off or not. And you got to get all this off because to get the glue off, you need all of the laminate or the mylar totally off of here. This makes it a lot easier to get all the glue off next. It looks like I got it all, so. Alright, Mylar is off. Now we got some glue to take off. 